Alrighty guys, we're back, y'all. Hey, what's up guys? This is Sajex here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Last time we rescued Prompto, and got to know what Prompto was up to. The most important thing, we got Prompto back. We got the squad back together. Now we're gonna return to that circle. I don't know how we're gonna get our weapons back. What? I've heard this sound before. On the train, just before your weapons failed you. It's nearby. And it may hold the key to restoring your power. It's here. This thing? Door's locked. And it's coming from within. Is there no way through? There's a way. So, MTs, they've got those code prints. Just like I do. Do they? Never looked. Yeah. So, as it turns out, I'm one of them. Not exactly something I could tell people growing up in Lucis. Still, you guys are like the only friends I've ever known. I just hope that things can stay the way they were. Whatever. Who cares where you were born? I don't see you turning against us. Not now or ever. Thanks, guys. Still, I can't change where I came from. What I am. Since when does where you come from matter to you? You never once treated me as a prince. <laughs> it's got you there. Never so much as a highness. We're done here. Come on, crown citizen. You're one of us, right? Unless you'd rather not be. Device down and out. Nox power should be up and running. Go on, try it. All right. Moment of truth. <sighs> oh! We're back, baby. Oh, good game. What a relief. <laughs> Let's roll.
But that doesn't mean I can't fight. Well, just don't overdo it, okay? Friends, no choice really. You know, somebody here's got to fight to rescue the crystal. Not to mention rescue all of your asses. Spoken like a true king. <laughs> About time. The ring represents a great burden, but you don't bear it alone. You can say that again. Especially now that y'all have your weapons back. You getting a feel for things, Ignis? Feeling my way around. Park the regalia. Outside, though park ain't the right word. She's broken down, alas. Took one for us. Saved our lives. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a burglar. Aren't I? Where's that elevator? Hopefully Biggs and Wedge both made it to safety. 
who and who? Our train drivers. And soldiers. They can fend for themselves. See what we came for. One hell of a hangar. Huh. Look at all this space. So, the central elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. Your Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. Let's <laughs> go! 
A sorry end for the High Commander. For anyone. He was a man with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? Pardon? Look alive! Company! Should be able to handle this, right? Suppose your dear friends are still alive? Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all, I swear. How far does this go? The crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Your journey is over, Noct. Help 
me stop the demons. Why? Unharmed by the light, the chosen king. Allow me to regale you with a tale in a long past. An incurable scourge ravaged mankind. A tiny menace that twisted men into monsters the likes of which you've seen. Elusive lived a savior who could cure the afflicted. His body would come to host myriad demons. Countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not a name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess his name is linear ones. Killing his mortal will bring me satisfaction. Playing the master's power, arise as its champion. Only once the master and the king are no more. I know the Come back soon. I shall keep your friends covered until you So he's like the original ancestor, but not this. Strength, O Chosen. Light unto the ring. Only then, one. 
Once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension? And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. Be waiting in Hammerhead. The Chosen King's Calling. Oh, 
homecoming. I could leave this prison to find myself on Angel Guard. His fathership is more on that shore. None the worse for wear, and now carries him to Golden Gate back to his kingdom. Demons everywhere. Archer's best boy. This is Final Fantasy Archer right there, Umbra. Yeah. 
Yep, I'm not fighting these. Fuck that. What is it, boy? Something's coming. A truck? Ah. Uh. Yeah? It's me, uh, Talkin. My grandpa served the Amasidia family? Talcott? Yeah. No, it's the boy. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, your majesty. Yes, sir. That's, that's right. Huh? Uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah. You sure look different, though. You think so? Look at that tag for I got ten for years. Kid. Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they, anyway? Lestalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. Huh. Oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light, thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open, though. One of the few places that is. So, um, Sid... He's still alive and kicking. <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while, and without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead, he tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts, too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while. But each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so?
We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. And don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Hey. Hey? That's all you have to say for yourself after all this time? <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really That's you! It. I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. We've even got some former Imperials fighting for us. The toughest of them said she used to lead a band of mercenaries. Aranea? So you do know her. Well, I'm not surprised. The Marshal said she was feared far and wide back in the day. But now she's revered among the Lucian masses. Same with her men, Biggs and Wedge. Each of them leads their own small army. <sighs> That's great. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. We've even got some former Imperials fighting. Aranea? So you... But now she... That's great. I'm more than happy to... Oh, right. Uh, about the Empire. Huh. Gladio brought back word that both the Emperor and High Commander were dead. With those two gone, Niflheim pretty much fell apart. Yeah, figured. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. The Chancellor's still around, though. In Insomnia. Nobody who saw him had any clue what he might have been up to. Their stories piqued Ignis's curiosity. I ended up helping Ignis look into the matter, digging through old records, even joining him on trips to the royal tombs. Royally roped into it. <laughs> it's cool. I'm a bit of a history buff myself. But we did discover something pretty weird. Huh? While we were poring over all those ancient texts, one name caught our eye. Ardens. Apparently he was hailed as a savior, healing all those who were ravaged by demons only to end up branded a demon himself. A dubious charge, I'd say. By all accounts, he was just as human as you and me. Huh. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. On the bright side, we've come a little closer to understanding the demons. And? You see, I'd always thought they were animals, only more hideous and savage. But it turns out they're just ordinary people, unlucky folk infected by something or other that transformed them into monsters. There's no known cure as of yet. So death is the only mercy. <sighs> I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. We've got a lot of survivors pouring in from Accordo, too. What with all the demon attacks there as of late? <sighs> Not like it's much better here. Lestalem's practically overflowing with refugees from Insomnia. The Empire's recovery assistance fell by the wayside, and demons overran the city. Thankfully, Iris and the Marshal managed to evacuate the civilians. Now there's no one left, except the demons. I spent my childhood in the Crown City. It's sad knowing it's gone, you know? Not for long. I became the king to reclaim our home, and now I'm back, as promised. All these years and you remembered. You bet. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Your Majesty? Do you remember my grandfather? Yeah. There's something I wasn't able to tell you back then. Grandpa died because of me. It was my fault. An Imperial officer approached me in town, asked if I was from the Crown City, and that was just the beginning. 
What brings you here, young man? You didn't come here by yourself, did you? Oh, your grandfather's a butler at a manor. How very grand. Oh, he rubs shoulders with the royal family. You must be ever so proud. I answered him without thinking. A little after that, the man showed up at our hotel. Talgut, think what you will of me. But please know that Grandpa didn't give you away. Listen. Yeah? You're not a kid anymore. You should know by now what happened that day wasn't your fault. None of it. <sighs> you know, it's hard to ask someone about their pain, but it's just as hard to share your own with someone else. I appreciate you opening up to me. And I swear, I'll make things right. But believe me when I say nobody blames you. Not me. Not your grandpa. Trust me. You have the king's word. I suppose you're right. Your majesty. Thank you. Safe travels. Your majesty. Hey. See you later. That's really like a military base. Welcome. See, I think I should be good. Come Fi again. Final battle wise, I'm good. Item wise. notes on demons. Dude, I think this is it. This is a good stopping point for the stream before we do the final battle and just focus the stream on the final battle, y'all. Yo, we doing this, y'all. Alrighty, y'all. Alrighty, y'all. 
There's some like lively music, you know? This music. Anyways, guys. This is gonna be a good stream for today, y'all. Yo, we're, we're like maybe like, well, I was gonna do episode prompto, but I'll do that on a random stream. But anyways, guys, it's been a good stream. Hopefully the next time will be the final battle stream. And for the people that tuned in, you guys are amazing. And I should be seeing y'all on the next stream, y'all. Later, guys.